yeah welcome everyone and uh, hope you guys had a very nice weekend and today we'll be uh, you know covering the very uh, interesting development and very shocking development uh, which has happened and uh, that too uh, of uh, you know the so called superstar salman khan's house uh, which is the Ban- bandra galaxy apartment and apparently uh, some uh, you know unknown people uh, they came in bike ride bikes and uh, they fired shots at his building outside uh, which is the bandra galaxy apartment and we'll be discussing about this in detail uh, today and uh, yes so friends uh, if you do like our content make sure to hit the like button so welcome uh, just welcome fenil yes gauri yeah so salman khan is now back in the news with news that is almost lame two bike riders apparently fired shots at his building bandra's galaxy apartment uh, early yesterday morning if i was someone uh, if it was someone else people would have just ignored it but this being salman khan everybody is curious because he's a man uh, many like to hate and many like to love as he does for most people he does not care about anybody and it is this don't care attitude that makes people irritated with him. it is as if you know many times it has been seen that he can play with law and say anything silly and get away you know as he has top politicians in his pocket sure enough after this incident chief minister eknath shinde was the first one to call him and find out his well being as if maharashtra's future rests on his health and now this of course was followed by many other politicians we'll get to that but in order to show he is not a dara hua insan very important see you can psychologically see how this uh, person is uh, trying to uh, you know camouflage his feelings but in order to show he is not scared he made a frantic bid to salvage his weakening image and pr was asked to set his fan base on full mode in social media a day just a day after the firing incident at his house salman khan shared his first post on instagram so let me show you that picture uh so let me just go to that so it can you just show the first picture the the one where yeah this one yes it is being strong uh, he's advertising fitness equipment by him and sponsored by danube properties now he uh, just uh, a day that's uh, now he's promoting this on instagram and he talks about being strong and announcing that the brand will now be available at the diamond z danu properties in dubai now sharing the video he says so happy to share that my fitness equipment brand being strong will now be available at diamond z by danu properties in dubai so get ready for the ultimate fitness journey with being strong equipment now at diamond z by danu he also tagged rizwan saraj the founder and chairman of the Danube group so you can see now here oh you know based on this the kind of response that he has got you know from his fans so, you know they have gone into sort of you know almost a, a crazy mode saying they're praying for you and your family's safety be strong like uh, being salman you know and this all takes us back to our first statement which is why most people love to hate this actor and several others like him as a superstar now this has all led to the boycott bollywood movement now his what what were some of the reasons that people started hating him one was his infamous run in law so let's take that uh, image chali yes let's take that image yes with law uh, in the hit and uh, run case and the chikara shooting case then the alleged abuse of actresses like ashwari rai and somi ali who all spoke about beat, being beaten up and threatened then there also is unconfirmed alleged underworld links his launching his friends and family in useless movies that never you know uh, became popular at all his show big boss which everyone terms as a uh, you know a useless show which has been cancelled this year and also most importantly his animosity with ssr he has had uh, you know some uh, fights with him as well as you remember the famous scene where he you know tries to uh, you know pre- prevent him from uh, dancing on stage you remember that scene uh, let me just 
get you that one. Uh, do you have that, Jati? The one where he is, uh, you know, he kicks him when he's uh, dancing on a uh, st stage. So these were some of the things that people got very upset with, with regards to Salman Khan. And today when people heard this, uh, yesterday and today when people heard this news, many of the people who seemed to be quite relieved and said that, see, uh, uh, they, uh, uh, you know, are on the side of Bishnoi. So this, there's a very, uh, you know, strong hate and like response to what Salman, what is happening to Salman Khan. Now, the police have confirmed that no injuries were reported in the shooting incident outside the residence of uh, actor Salman Khan. Uh, so DCP Mumbai Raj Tilak Raushan said today at around 5 a.m., two unidentified people opened fire outside the house of actor Salman Khan in Bandra. Police have received information about three rounds of fire. A case has been registered and an investigation is underway in the case. Earlier in the day, uh, Chief Minister Iknath Chinde spoke to Salman over the phone regarding the incident. Iknath Chinde also discussed with Mumbai Police Commissioner and suggested increasing Salman Khan's security. Since November 2022, Salman Khan's security level has been elevated to Y plus due to threats from gangsters Lawrence Bishnoi and Goldie Brar. And has also been authorized to carry a personal firearm and has acquired a new armored vehicle for added protection. Now, Lawrence's Bishnoi's brother takes responsibility, Anmol takes responsibility of the firing in incident outside Salman Khan's uh, home. Now, in a social media post, Anmol, who is wanted in India and believed to be hiding in the USA, referred to the incident as a trailer and issued a warning to the actor. Anmol Bishnoi, brother of gangster Lawrence, has purportedly claimed responsibility for the recent firing outside Bollywood actor Salman Khan's residence. We want peace. If the only decision against oppression is war, then so be it, Salman Khan. We have only shown you a trailer so that you understand the magnitude of our strength and do not test it. This is the first and last warning. After this, shots will not be fired outside the house only. And we have dogs named after Dawood Ibrahim and Chota Shakil, whom you consider to be gods. Now, I don't have the habit of talking much, the post read. The security has been increased outside his uh, residence following the incident. Now, investigators from the crime branch, local police, and forensic teams visited the scene to gather evidence and recovered bullet shells from outside his house. Both Lawrence Bishnoi, as you know earlier, we've been following what has happened to Lawrence Bishnoi. Uh, he's now currently in jail and wanted gangster Goldie Brar have previously threatened Salman Khan with debt. Now, Bishnoi's gang was also involved in the murder of Punjabi singer and rapper Siddhu Mosewala. Currently, he's in custody in Tihar jail. Now, see, you will see here, yeah, he has been moved to this one. He's been moved to, yes. In this, you see, he's been moved from the uh, Gujarati, uh, you know, uh, jail to Tihar jail. And uh, the NIA report revealed that Bishnoi and his, his associate, Goldie Brar, have links with the pro Khalistan outfits. Now, Anmol Bishnoi, also known as Bhanu, is a fugitive accused in the murder of Siddhu Musewala. He fled India using a fake passport and was charged by the National Investigation Agency in the case last year. Bishnoi has been evading authorities by frequently changing his location in 2023. He was reportedly spotted in Kenya. After purportedly receiving death threats from Lawrence Bishnoi Yang in March last year, Salman Khan has been under heightened security measures. Trained authority personnel have provided him with weapons for protecting for his, for his own protection. Additionally, Khan has obtained a personal weapon license, enabling him to carry a personal weapon for his safety. Now, one of the attackers is uh, suspected to be Vishal Elias Kalu from Gurgaon, who was allegedly involved in a businessman's murder case in Haryana last month. The shooter is seen in a red t-shirt in the footage outside Salman Khan's house could be Vishal, said a senior cop. Later in the evening, police sources identified one of the suspects captured on CCTV as, as we said, Vishal Elias Kalu. Kalu, who uh, uh, Lawrence, a uh, shooter, he's a shooter in the Lawrence Bishnoi gang. Khan, who has Y plus category security uh, cover and his family members were present at home when this firing took place. 
No one was injured because it was only outside. Now, Lawrence Bishnoi, as you know, if you look at his background, is a notorious North Indian gangster facing multiple criminal charges, including murder and extortion. His gang boasts over 700 shooters spread across India. With fellow gangster Goldie Brar, he entered university politics where he started his criminal empire. His criminal organization boasts approximately 700 members scattered all over India. His foray into the world of crime began during his university days alongside fellow gangster Goldie Brar. Bishnai has vehemently opposed the Khalistani movement and various forms of anti-national activities. He's a key figure in North India based gangsters and runs the largest network of around 700 members. He's lodged in, prison, in the prison since 2015 and has moved frequently in Delhi and Punjab jails due to multiple cases in courts against him. Now, he was arrested for his involvement in a drug smuggling case investigated by the NIA. Lawrence is also an accused in the Punjabi singer Sidhu Musewala's murder case. In the dry and arid, if you look at his, uh, you know, the community that he comes from, in the dry and arid landscape of Jodhpur in Rajasthan, there is a unique and ecologically conscious community known as Vishnoi community. The Vishnoi people are known for their deep-rooted love for nature and wildlife. Today, these people stand as best example of harmony between humans, animals, and nature. Now, Vishnoi sect admitted uh, members from a variety of communities, including Jats, Banias, Charans, Rajput, and Brahmins. And initially, people believed that it was because the Vishnoi community revered wildlife and the killing of the black park had spurred this anim animosity. Uh, but now it looks like something else is the reason for the animosity between Vishnoi and Khan. You remember, Lawrence Vishnoi was brought to Delhi from Ahmedabad Sabarmati Central Jail. He was taken to Gujarat by Gujarat Anti-Terrorist Squad in connection with this case of cross-border smuggling of drugs. He's been accused by NIA, India's largest in investigative agency, in anti-national activities, drug trafficking, murder, UAPA, and extortion cases. It was said that the gangster Lawrence is well-equipped to run his empire uh, and... Uh, Perhaps then, if you go to the root cause of what, with the kind of rivalry between these people, so did Salman Khan at any time challenge his power and this empire that he's built? Bollywood is notorious for its drug racket. No party happens without alcohol and drugs, as clearly stated by actresses like Kangana and the late Sushant Singh Rajput. So were these people at crosswords? over this issue, plus all other elements that go, it, it, go with it, which is money laundering, trafficking, blackmail, etc. Because see, something like killing a, a wildlife is not going to, uh, you know, uh, spur so much of anger within the Bishnoi family. Uh, Anmol is telling him that, see, you're, it's a full out war. So a war would involve a lot more things at stake. Now, Bishnoi was caught uh, smuggling drugs. Uh, cross border, which is then, which is with Pakistan, and many actors, as you know, in Bollywood, do have a very cozy relationship with Pakistan. So do many top politicians. They keep saying. Recently, also Salman was heard saying that, see, I love Pakistan. I love uh, being there, and you know, see, they've been uh, promoting them a lot. Now, a police officer said, Prima Facie, it appeared, appeared from CCTV footage that the shooters fired in the air and not at any individual. The firing perhaps was symbolic and done to create panic and send a message, is what the officer said. Now, claiming responsibility for the firing to a newly created account on Facebook, Anmol Bishnoi, who's wanted for the murder of Punjabi singer Sidhu Musewala in May 2022, is suspected to be hiding in Canada. He said the firing was the first and last warning for the actor. Henceforth, the bullets will not be fired at the walls or any empty house he posted. The post surfaced around 11.30 a.m. We want peace. If only, if the only decision against oppression is war, then so be it, Salman Khan. We have done this to show you the trailer so that you get an idea of our capabilities and don't test us. The post was in Hindi. The post mentioned Lawrence Bishnoi group and the names of gangsters Goldie Brar, Rohit Godara, and Kala Jatami at the end. 
And if and you, as I told you before, Anmol is the younger brother of the infamous gangster Lawrence Bishnoi. And uh, also, you remember, uh, he was uh, recently seen at a wedding reception in California. The event featured performance by popular Punjabi singers uh, Karan Aujla and Shariman. Identifying one of the two suspects who uh, opened fire was Vishal, a Gurgaon resident police said. The shooters worked for Vishnoi gang member Godara, a Rajasthan-based gangster, wanted in many high-profile killings, including that of Musewala. Godara currently operates from Canada. Vishal last month had allegedly killed a scrap dealer, Sachin, in front of his family at a highway daba in Rohtak. The police said Vishal and his unaided aide, unidentified aide, who is suspected to have driven the motorcycle, may have conducted a recce of Khan's residence for the past couple of days. The motorcycle was later found abandoned near a church at a kilometer's distance, the police said. The motorcycle was registered in the name of a Panvel resident. A police team is trying to locate him to ascertain if it was stolen. You remember there was also a similar attack, or rather an encroachment into his farmhouse many months back. And that also frightened Salman into getting all this uh, uh, you know, security from the government. From CCTV footage, police uh, sources said they've gathered that after abandoning the bike, the two suspects walked some distance before taking an auto rickshaw to Bandra railway station. They boarded a northbound local train. The police suspect that the two may have changed clothes on the go. Now, images of them have gone viral on the social media. Now, the Bandra police have registered a case under IP section 307 which is attempted murder and provisions of the Arms Act. The investigation was later in the evening transferred to the crime branch. Besides the local police officers from crime branch, Unit 9, Anti-Extortion Cell and Crime Intelligence Unit have launched a parallel investigation. From a bullet shell recovered from the spot, the police suspect that a 7.6 mm bow gun was used. Forensic lab officials collected samples from the spot outside Khan's Galaxy apartment presence. Following this incident, Maharashtra Chief Minister Eknath Chinde spoke to Khan over phone and assured support and police security for him and his family. Chinde also had discussions with the Mumbai Police Commissioner Vivek Fansalkar and suggested increasing the actor's security. The police had in September 2023 reviewed uh, Salman Khan's security and asked him to be on alert following threats from Doris Bishnoi through a Facebook post in which he claimed responsibility for a firing incident outside Punjabi singer-actor Gippy Garewal's residence in Canada. In March last year, the actor's manager had received a threat email following which an FIR was registered against Lawrence Bishnoi, Goldie Brad, and one Mohit Garg. Prior to that, in June 2022, a threat letter had uh, been kept at a spot on Bandra Bandstand where the actor's father, Salim Khan, used to go for a walk. The latter claimed that the actor too would meet the same fate as Musewala. An FIR was registered in that case as well. Now, following the threats to Khan, the police in August 22 had issued him a firearm license for uh, protection. In November 2022, the state governments upgraded his security level to Y plus category from Z, X category. While X category security usually entails one gunman, gunman Y plus has two police in, plus four on rotation for mobile security and one plus four on rotation for resident security. Now, family members of uh, the Khans on Sunday expressed concern regarding the effectiveness of security, given that five rounds were fired at the building, of which four hit the building and one landed in his balcony. In addition to wise, uh, plus security, a vehicle from the local police station usually stands guard outside Salman Khan's building, the officers said. Now, reacting to the firing, NCPSCP leader Supriya Sule blamed the state government. It's extraordinarily un unfortunate as the area where Salman Khan lives is a popular area and his family is clearly under pressure. It's a complete failure of the home uh, ministry, she said. Shiv Sena leader Sanjay Raut said, law and order is in danger in the state. Where is the home minister? 
He is in election mode 24 hours, sometimes in Delhi in an election campaign, meeting, sometimes sitting in a conspiracy to eliminate his opponent who will look after, then who will look after law and order. Thakre Raj Thakre, MNS chief, also visited Khan's residence and met him. Now, just imagine, friends, two men fired four to five rounds on Salman Khan's house, and it suddenly becomes national news, and the entire state machinery is immediately activated to nab the aggressors. Yet, when the SSR murder case, which involves death of several people who were associated with SSR later, no one seems interested, and they use it as a political tool whenever, whenever elections is about to happen. So it's very, very sad that you know a person like Salman Khan needs to get protection when he is very well capable of looking after himself. So let me just take a few comments from yeah, you. Yeah, see, I would like to add some points uh, for this. Is that uh, Samir Vankade faced a lot of threats from uh, you know uh, Daoud and everyone. So why was uh, why did Shinde not give uh, him security and police security and everything, right? So why the double standards for uh, this uh, so-called big superstar? And uh, you know you have a you know a sincere ex NCB zonal head of Mumbai, and uh, why you wouldn't give uh, him and his family who has been getting threats uh, every week and every day nearly, right? So. Um, I mean, what makes this, uh, you know, Bollywood uh, actor so important in the state of Maharashtra that the whole state machinery have to be, uh, they are working overtime and they, uh, you know, they just, uh, you know, work so efficiently in giving him all the protection and police protection and everything. And uh, politicians across all party lines, be it the Shiv Sena, uh, be it the NCP, or be the uh, you know Congress or uh, Raj uh, Raj Thakre also, you know they uh, were asking about his uh, you know what happened exactly. So uh, one thing is for sure that uh, like like you like you said that uh, Lawrence Bishnoi the the you know killing of the black buck is not the sole reason, and I don't think that is a very big reason as to why Bishnoi gang is targeting Salman Khan. There is more to it than what we see uh, in front of us. Yeah. Because yeah, uh, as yeah. Yes. Yeah. Here, yeah, Jayde, because see, why I say that is because, see, when Anmol says that they, they're going to have a full fledged war if they don't stop at this, that means there is a war between two factions. Now, Salman and his gang, and Vishnoy and his gang. Okay. So they will not fight over bucks, uh, you know, deer and wildlife. They are going to fight over empires. And what is today's empire? Today's modern empires are built on drugs, trafficking, uh, money laundering, uh, you know, uh, what you call blackmailing, all that. So it, it is very clearly saying that the NIA has caught Bishnoi and his whole gang on this and cross-border uh, you know, drugs smuggling. Now, see, if they are involved in that, why would Salman Khan, a mere actor, a mere actor, you know, sort of threaten them, which means... Does Salman have something to do in the same areas? Okay. Now, this is a thought because it, time and again, it has been proved that Bollywood is filled with drugs. That is what Samir Wankare proved. Okay. Then, of course, as, you know, the NCB uh, tried to cover it all up and uh, they, uh, you know, tried to butter the Bollywood people up when there was so much of proof and when Samir Wankare was going to come to a proper conclusion that we have links with international drug smuggling okay so if uh, if uh, salman khan as salman khan or eknal shinde or all these pol politicians are saying he's a simple baby drinking milk you know who needs to be given protection uh, by uh, you know the government uh, you know and uh, uh, for what uh, mr shinde uh, does he need to get protection have you even probed as to what is this man uh, this gang accusing salman khan of have you even gone into the basics of what is the animosity against? And what is this war against? If you knew that, see, you only equals fight. Okay, if I'm in an IT field, I'll fight with another IT person. If I'm in the med medical field, I'll fight with another medical person, right? So if there are two people at war, there is something very similar that's going on, and one is threatening the other. 
you can say one is a baby drinking milk you know and the other is uh, you know what you call let us take one of the biggest structures in the world you know and that is patal and this is heaven because according to what we have been uh, talking about in all these videos is that salman khan does not have a very good image and people are scared of okay so there is another side mr shinde that we do not know about which we would like you you know and your uh, machinery to probe and find out what exactly is bishnoi trying to get out of salman khan okay so what is salman khan and his gang hiding you know which they are intent on destroying okay so if if, if intentionally they have just fired at the outside of the building okay that means the message is very strong right earlier they had attacked him uh, his uh, house in uh, the farm right and they uh, you know uh, that was one of the threats okay now this is getting stronger so which means that there is a very very strong and powerful war happening between these two factions now for salman to come out and start promoting uh, fitness equipment on the next day before his house is attacked itself shows that this man is scared to death okay because i was looking watching all the tweets that come after this where he has the video showing a completely you know he's uh, completely uh, uh, what you call um, photoshopped his image and he doesn't look tired or anything and all the uh, uh, the tweets that are coming are from face uh, from his fans saying that bhai you are great you know bhai what have you done bhai you are looking great you are strong you know we are with you you are a human okay why does he need support now he is getting the support of the highest order bjp supporting him the uh, what do you call bjp and the shinde government are protecting him you know you useless fans you know they don't need you you are only small weak people you know they have got a very strong government behind them. now if you are giving so much of support to salman khan and mr shinde why are you ignoring the four year old case against sushant singh rajput sushant singh rajput was killed and there is even now there are a proof of people talking about uh, you know how he is being murdered now if the cbi and the the federal agents are so stupid that they can't come out with the truth or they are being threatened by such people are they being threatened by bishnoi or are they being threatened by samarth now i want to know that why are the federal agencies quiet so in, are they also caught in this war between bishnoi and samarth khan and that is why they are keeping quiet right so there is something we are getting to some point here where people are scared of both parties now one party is in jail so they are safe but no lawrence bishnoi's brother is very much active right he was seen at a party recently with some punjabi singers so fear is there fear is here also you know how many uh, vehicles are you going to get uh, all this white protection and everything uh, you, you know you are going to walk around like james bond try to understand what is it that they are attacking you for salman khan they will not attack you if you are just going and drinking milk and you know acting and sleeping at uh, 10 o'clock at night there is something very very seriously wrong happening in mumbai okay and everybody calling you bhai itself there is a question mark there why would anybody call you bhai people are usually call dau and all these people bhai meaning that don okay you are not a don you are just an actor you are a superstar right so why don't we just call you salman khan you know or brother bhaiya right why this bhai so lot of uh, you know uh, things are come tumbling out you know skeletons are tumbling out of salman khan's uh, cover the very fact that just all of you look at social media and see today he is so scared that he has put this uh, video interview a video about this uh, fitness that he is working on with uh, danu you know in dubai i don't know how it interests people in india because he should be promoting fitness in india and not in uh, dubai because people are uh, you know his fans are all from india so that itself shows that this man is a dara hua insan he cannot sleep he cannot eat he cannot do but then see remember there is a thing called karma what you sow 
you will dream. You have terrified many people, many girls, young innocent girls, young men who were perhaps their boyfriends. You terrified them, right? You thought you owned Mumbai. Okay. So, right, today you might get some politicians in your hand, but there's a bigger force that is acting against you. Because can you imagine sitting in jail if these people have so much of power? Salman Khan. That means you have to be scared of something even more serious. Yeah, but so and one more, more very clearly. Yeah, so one more very important point by Anita is that uh, it is very easy for Mumbai police to go to the jail and question Lawrence Bishnoi. Why wasting time and public oh, exactly. space money? Exactly. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It's a very well valid question. He is sitting yeah. in the jail. Why, why, why can't they question him? I saw ACP coming to Salman's house. Well, had ACP shown same interest in SSR's murder, justice would have been served by now. Same thing with in the case of uh, as, uh, you know uh, the SSR uh, no Samir Wankari's case, where the NCP people went to uh, Shah Rukh Khan's house, you know, to ask him some questions. And when he said it was his birthday, oh, they said, "Shall we come tomorrow?" Are you doing your job, federal agency, or are you licking the feet of someone? So it's it's very sad that you know uh, you know corruption has come to such a limit, which we had a much stringent uh, investigation during SSR's death. Yes, so true. Here also nepotism is taking service from the uh, civil servants. Welcome, Gloria. Dawood not showing up to save his favorite person. Well. Uh, Did he do it intentionally? Welcome, Priyanka. Welcome, Priyanka. Thank you, uh, Ajay. So if friends, you like, uh, if you like the content, friends, make sure to hit the like button. If Sushant was given protection when his da dad requested Pupo in February 2020, Sushant would also be like, see here also, see how, friends, how ridiculous it is. They have changed the case, you know, when the, the when the shooting happened, first they changed it into uh, first, they had one case and then they made it a criminal case. How, how is it a criminal case? So in that case, you should have done it for SSR also. SSR was killed. It was a criminal case. How did you say that it was a suicide? So with such a small two bullets, we are saying it has become a criminal case. For all you know, Salman Khan's friends would, would have done it drunk. You don't know. you know. So we don't know the truth. We have to find out the truth. You cannot just say that city pooped. Any people can go. Well, how do you know it is Mishnah's people? And Mumbai police are notorious in telling lies. That we have got from Paramir saying that legacy is coming down. You know, so we do not trust the Mumbai police. Not even under this Fadnavis uh, uh, and Shinde government. We don't trust. We don't want corruption. Are you willing to give us that sort of government, Fadnavis and uh, Shinde? What Modi, Modi ji is talking about everywhere. We are going to remove corruption. Are you going to give us a corruption free Maharashtra? If not, then you shouldn't be working under Modi. Because you're not doing anything. First thing you do is call a film actor to tell him he needs protection. He needs to get protection. What did you do for SSR's part? Did you give your, him also some sort of facility? That's it. So what, what is this sort of... Uh, you know, it's shocking to see all the way the politicians are reacting to this man. I wonder all UPSC exams aspirants watching the ACP being so active on Salman case, case but was ignorant by, in IRS Samir Wankani case. Yes. Rip civil services. Yes. Obviously, we all remember Kajat House. Yes. Welcome, Bri. Yes. Now Mumbai police is getting CCTV footage, forensic and cops everywhere. During uh, SSR's murder, they forgot all legalities. Shame on Mumbai police. For SSR's, there's not a word about his murder. But look at this overprotective for Salman. Absolutely. Welcome, Sunita. Ajay says... 
SSR is the first and only case where proofs are conceived and investigation is done by netizens and some smart YouTube, YouTubers. ACB and CBI is only for actors. Every dog has his day. You know, there were a lot of people I know on Twitter who were very happy to hear this news. If only Salman Khan knew what was, what is his, you know, his uh, image on public. And I'm not talking about the paid fans. Dilke friends, mine is the, thank you so much, friends. We buy tickets with our money to watch these actors in movies. Uh, now police is using our tax money to provide security to these actors. And, and see, what are they given protection for? For going to parties and clubs and uh, discos. If they go for film shooting, you can understand. They don't have any films to shoot. So what are they being given uh, uh, the same, uh, uh, security for? For going to this girlfriend's house and that girlfriend's house? Welcome. Well, it's all a huge distraction from the main issue. The less attention people give these slips, the better. But you have to expose them. GRM. It's very easy to say lesser att attention. Uh, uh, mainstream media is not giving any attention. The moment a, a Salman Khan movie comes, they'll all go and celebrate it. That's how it is done. Yeah, but now, but, but now it, it is no longer the case because Tiger 3, his last film was a huge flop. Probably the only time I'll say this, but good work, gangsters, is what most people are saying. It is in their own hands. Hope they get justice. Everybody asking, when will justice be given? And who are these Uddhav and Raj Thakri to talk about law and order? What about your son, baby penguin, who murdered him? Oh, yeah. So that's uh, where we are yet to find out that. UPSC has lost its value when one is going yeah. to work. Oh, for that's, uh, that's all the news from my end. And uh, so yeah. Thank you, friends. And good night. We'll see you tomorrow with a lot more news. Good night. Thank you. Jai Hind and Jai Sri Ram.